Have you ever wondered what goes on behind those high prison walls? Well, it's not always a walk in the park. With so many folks packed together, things can get pretty wild. Buckle up, because we're diving into some of the craziest murders that happened in prison. Ready for the ride? Let's go! Roche Theriault. Roche Theriault was a notorious Canadian criminal who led a cult called the Ant Hill Kids in the 70s. Highly intelligent yet fanatically religious, he fathered 26 children, demanding unwavering loyalty from his followers, some even mutilating themselves to prove their devotion. Theriault was responsible for several heinous crimes, including the deaths of his son, an infant, and a member named Solange Boila. His reign of terror continued until Gabriel Lavallee, a victim of his torture, reported him to the police in 1989. Theriot was imprisoned and, in 2011, was killed by his cellmate, Matthew MacDonald, who despised his crimes. Richard Loeb At 14, Richard Loeb entered the University of Chicago and befriended Nathan Leopold. Their close bond, rumoured to be romantic, led to a shared obsession, executing a flawless crime. In 1924, at 18 and 19 respectively, they kidnapped and killed 14-year-old Bobby Franks. Their perfect crime unraveled quickly, leading to their arrest. Both received life sentences for murder and additional time for kidnapping. In prison, they reunited and even started an educational program for inmates. However, in 1936, Loeb was fatally attacked by a cellmate. Leopold was paroled in 1958, relocated to Puerto Rico, and passed away in 1971. Their story inspired Alfred Hitchcock's film, Rope, Rockrast Mac. In 2009, Rockrast Mack was sentenced to 20 years at Ventress Correctional Facility in Alabama for a minor drug offense. Despite its capacity of 650, the facility held 1,665 inmates by 2010. On August 4, 2010, guard Melissa Brown accused Mack of inappropriate behavior and struck him. Mack retaliated, injuring her. Later, six guards brutally assaulted Mack in front of other inmates. Although comatose, he was hospitalized under guard surveillance. The warden initially denied Mac's father visitation rights, but later allowed a brief, no-contact visit. Mac passed away the following day. Lieutenant Michael Smith, previously accused of multiple brutality incidents, and guards Matthew Davidson and Joseph Sanders were charged in connection with Mac's death. Merle Klutz and Robert Hoffman. On October 22, 1983, in Marion, Illinois, two notorious prison murders happened. Guard Merle Klutz was escorting ex-Aryan Brotherhood leader Thomas Silverstein when Silverstein attacked and fatally stabbed him. Later that day, Clayton Fountain, another Brotherhood member, was handed a shank and assaulted three guards. Robert Hoffman, 53, saved his colleagues, but succumbed to his injuries, dying in his son's arms, who was also a guard. This marked the only instance where two officers were killed on the same day in separate US prison incidents. Following these events, Marion Prison underwent a 23-year lockdown, and the ADX Florence Supermax Prison was established for America's most dangerous criminals. John Giocan In January 2002, former Boston Catholic priest John Giocan was sentenced to 10 years for molesting a boy in 1991. He was later accused of abusing 130 others over three decades, leading to a $10 million lawsuit against the Archdiocese of Boston. While in Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center, 68-year-old Geokan was paired with Joseph Drews, a 38-year-old white supremacist serving a life sentence for murder. On August 23, 2003, Drews killed Geokan in their cell. Speculation arose about potential negligence, as only one guard was present instead of the usual two, and Drews might have premeditated the murder. Zahid Mubarak on March 31, 2001, 19-year-old Zahid Mubarak was brutally attacked in his cell and died a week later. Sentenced to 90 days for a minor theft, he shared a cell with Robert Stewart, a violent racist with a history of severe psychological issues and prior violent acts. Despite Stewart's 186 recorded violent incidents, including a racially motivated murder, he was placed with Mubarak of Pakistani origin. That night, Stewart fatally assaulted Mubarak with a table leg. The incident sparked outrage in the UK, leading to a 2004 public inquiry into prison negligence and subsequent reforms for the safety of non-white inmates. Albert de Salvo Between 1962 and 1964, 13 women were strangled in Boston, with most being elderly and living alone. 
Eleven of these murders were believed to be by the same person, named the Boston Strangler. Albert DeSalvo was arrested for unrelated sexual assaults where he posed as a modeling scout. During interrogation, he confessed to all 13 murders, though many doubted his claims. Some believe DeSalvo confessed for reward money and to financially secure his family. In 1973, before he could discuss the case further, he was mysteriously killed in a secure hospital. He never faced trial, but DNA in 2013 linked him to one victim. Well, what are your thoughts on these brutal incidents? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.